it's not easy staying consistent it's not easy just posting every day i mean it is if you don't mind posting some of the same videos all the time but i want new every time every time <laughs> i want new every time okay like i don't want to post the stuff i already posted hey y'all what's up it's akasha hills welcome to my channel if you're new if you're not new what's up how have you been welcome back okay so y'all it's like nine o'clock in the rising your girl really just rolled up out of bed i've been laying there since like six o'clock because i went to sleep at like seven o'clock last night and stayed asleep i set an alarm to get up and girl we did not get up so yeah, I just threw some clothes on, about to wash my face. We're about to wash our face and get this day started because I actually got a lot of capsules to make today. Um, yeah. So that's what we got going on today. We finna get a little work-life balance going on because I really need to do laundry. I got clothes that need to be folded since last week. And then I got a whole new pile of laundry to fucking wash. So, on top of making all the capsules I need to make and cleaning up and cooking and relaxing because I gotta go to work tomorrow. Start of a new motherfucking week. Waiting for this water to get warm. Okay. And now we're about to get the rest of this day started. So like I said, we got clean clothes from last week that needs to be folded. We keep dumping it on the bed and then putting it back in the basket when it's time to go to sleep because we don't feel like doing that shit. Okay, so today I'm going to get them clothes folded, more clothes to wash. yeah so as you can see we got work to do <laughs> and i gotta make these capsules so first thing first let me write down wait no book it i need some paper i need some paper okay y'all so i'm gonna write down exactly how many capsules i need to make of what so I know um hold on let me check oh I just want to check so yellow duck I need 60 yellow duck macaroo I got a 60 count order and a 45 count order so what's that 105 macaroon capsules um burdock I don't know if they want 45 or 60, so I'm going to just make 60. And then ashwagandha. Uh, damn, was that 45 or 60? Okay, let me check. I really planned on taking these out over the weekend. This hairstyle used a whole bottle of mousse, and I had it in for a month put mousse on it every day today is like the first day second day i haven't put mousse on it but i'm ready to take them out anyways but anyways um so i just cleaned and wiped down all the counters um i cleaned the bathrooms or whatever all i gotta do now is sweep them up and finish um 
laundry. Y'all, so let me tell y'all. So I got my laundry basket outside on the ground, flipped over because I empty all the clothes out of the basket. I'm separating the clothes or whatever. When I get to the bottom of the basket, <laughs> It's a big ass fucking spider, y'all. Like, it was the daddy spider, the motherfucking granddaddy spider in the bottom of the fucking laundry basket, y'all. The bottom of the laundry basket. Um, yeah, so. I hit it with some hot shot. <laughs> I sprayed it down, y'all. I had to spray that spider so good. I didn't want to kill him, but... You're not finna come in my house and scare me like that. I don't know who you thought you was or what you thought this eat was, okay? But <laughs> I be so extra. But no, nah, you ain't finna come in my house and scare me like that. So I had to I had to make it do what it do. I sprayed him down. He balled up like and I'm just playing. <laughs> I be so extra. Baby. The living room is a little distant. I still got some dishes over there. I ain't did the dishes yet. This is gonna be the last thing I do because after killing that spider, y'all, I had to take me a break. I sat down for a good hour. I called my man like, baby, it was a big-ass spider. And it just blew me away. So I had to sit down for an hour. Okay? Because I had to gather my body. Gather myself. Had me feel like I was itching and shit. Um, I got a jar of capsules here. This look like maybe like a little over 100 capsules and then i should have a bag of capsules so we should have enough to make these 240 two four forty dollars okay where's my powders where are my So we back. So I got the herbs. We got the ashwagandha and the macaroon. We got more than enough capsules. And good news, we have an order of macaroon already made. So um, that's going to be the 45 count. And so we still have to make a 60 count macaroon. And the bad news is I'm out of yellow dock and burdock. So I have to order some more. And I know the yellow dock, the burdock is by itself. That's a family friend. So I can get into them. The next time I see them, probably won't be tomorrow. So I'm cool on the burdock right now. But I really need to order the yellow dock because um, they ordered those together. The yellow dock and the ashwagandha was one order. So I need to order the yellow dock like right now. And hopefully it'll get here in a timely fashion. Um, so I can get them their stuff. Yeah. But anyways, we're just going to make what we got. I'm going to put some gloves on. I'm going to count these macaroons, make sure it's 45 up in there. Um, I have to go unpack some stuff from moving. So I got my thank you cards right here um, and stuff like that. What else I need? So I'm actually going to be making these capsules by hand because the little capsule maker thingy is drying. I just um, had to wash some of the powder off from the last order I had. Um, so that has to dry. I can't put the herbs on a wet foundation or the capsules because they're going to dissolve. So we can't even use that. We have to make these by hand right now. And for mine, I need to get the tray to make these by hand because these powders will stain white surfaces. I learned that from my last tray that I was using to make um, capsules. It stained, the yellow dog stained the shit out of that. Um, but anyways, so I wash my hands or whatever. Um, I'm about to put some gloves on and we're gonna get started. Okay, so we're gonna put these gloves on. I bought my little um saw one of my soft boxes over here just to brighten it up a little bit because the natural lighting from behind it's kind of making it dark and yeah 
So I'm gonna get these gloves on and I'm gonna have to pause y'all for a second so I can record this real. Okay y'all, so we back. I just recorded a little time lapse or whatever. And now we just gonna finish out. Right now we making the ashwagandha pills. I put my um, mask on because making these by hand, like without the little capsule maker, um, sometimes I gotta get close so I could see um, when I'm putting the two ends together. So I just went ahead and put a mask on so I could work and do everything comfortably. Um, yeah. But all honesty, I actually like making the capsules by hand because I don't know. I don't know why I like doing it by hand compared to the actual capsule maker. Um, I really don't know which one is quicker because it takes me a little second to get all the capsules uncount, uncapped, Put a load of, okay, it takes me a while to uncap 100 capsules and load them all into the capsule maker and then pour the powder, scrape the powder around, flatten it, pour the powder, scrape the powder around, flatten it, like, that take, that's actually, um, takes time, even though you can make 100 capsules at one time once you do get it all, um, situated or whatever, um, yeah, but I like making them by hand because sometimes the capsule maker, you might skip a hole so you down one or something might not go right. One of the capsule capsules might um, crack or bend and you don't realize it to the end. Um, so at least making them by hand, I can already see which ones is damaged or have a crack in it and stuff like that and I can throw it out get it out the way. Um, yeah. And I feel like it's more, you know, intimate. It's more love put into it when I make them by hand. Okay. So let's see how many we got one. So we got 34 capsules, we got 11 more to go, or no, actually, more than 11. I forgot we're making 60 capsules. Yeah. So anyways, y'all. I'm gonna have to take a pause for a second and um... some days I have a much easier time making these like putting the ends together some days I just be popping them just be popping them together but today like this shit Happen. This is that one was fairly quick, quicker than the rest of them. Uh, but yeah, all I'm doing basically. God damn. Okay. So we have the capsules that come already with the ends together. One end is shorter than the other one. You pull them apart gently because you can bend them easily. This end is shorter than this one. I don't know if I can really tell. And then I just scoop in both ends. I put powder in both ends. And I try not to do it too jam packed. I don't want it too tight. I still want it kind of loose inside of the capsule. So. Yeah, and then we put them together. And you'll know when it's too full 
because the smaller cap will crack trying to fit over the other end um, so yeah but one thing I did notice with the capsule maker is that you don't put powder in the top you only load the bottom with powder and then you put the top on there and it be leaving little spaces like I be seeing space with no powder in there so make the thing about making them by hand is you can actually make sure it's filled See, there's no spaces when you turn it. It's filled. And, um, yeah. So when I make them um, by hand, I do feel like you get a little bit more. Not too much more to where it's like detrimental to your health or a significant change or whatever. Um, yeah. When I make them with the capsule maker, I feel like you it's only about like 535-ish milligrams when I make them by hand and they're filled to capacity. Um, I already looked it up, but I just want to see if it's on the pack. But when I make them by hand, they're like um, 700 milligrams. Uh, yeah, either way it go, you still just take one or two a day not gonna cause you no harm so and I really feel like I got some ashwagandha capsules already made because I do got another jar over there of capsules but they're not labeled so in the midst of me moving I actually had it separated to where I knew what it, what it was but moving everything just got thrown in the box and yeah, now I don't know what those capsules are. So, I know it's either fenugreek, fenugreek or ashwagandha, but I don't want to sell the person the wrong shit. So, I'm just making a fresh new bag. Okay, so this is what I mean by the capsules can easily bend um, when you're putting them together. So yeah, I put these ends together and I pushed a little bit too hard. And now the end is like indented. Um, sometimes you can kind of like play with it a little bit and pop it out. Um, this, however doesn't look like it wants to play those motherfucking games okay so when it happens i dump the powder right back out the powder out and we toss that to the side and just do another capsule um yeah you gotta keep it pushing can't spend too much time on one little inconvenience okay keep it pushing look we didn't know we already on the second cap so i still would have been trying to pop that dent out no honey we ain't got time for that okay let's talk about like being consistent with your business y'all i know saying it is much easier than actually staying fucking consistent like i was on a roll i was posting wheels every day for a month straight and I saw the change in engagement. I saw the difference it made. Yeah. I saw the difference it made in engagement and stuff like that. And um, before y'all say something about me touching my phone with my gloves, I always wipe my phone down because I work in a hospital. And uh, yeah, I have to wipe my phone down every day. So anyways, um, yeah, I was consistently posting wheels every day for a month straight. 
I saw the boost in engagement, the boost in followers. I saw the difference, y'all. It worked, okay? But it's not easy staying consistent. It's not easy just posting every day. I mean, it is if you don't mind posting some of the same videos all the time. But I want new every time. Every time. I want new every time, okay? Like, I don't want to post the stuff I already posted. So, it's just hard for me, especially when you have a business where, like, you hand make all of your products, and especially if you make them in bulk. So, the last time I made capsules, I made every type of capsule, at least three jars full of every type of capsule. All the herbs, all of my herbs, all my tea blends and stuff, I blended all of those, put them all together, and one day I had at least at least 20 jars of products already prepared, okay? So when people order stuff, I just got to grab it, pack it, and go. So when you do all of that stuff in one day, you pack everything in one day or whatever, you can get a lot of content in that one day of everything that you're doing. But after you done packed everything and made all your products. I mean, the only other wheels you can post now is of you drinking a tea or taking a capsule and stuff like that. And I don't know, um, 